All right, guys, I'm gonna test out today with this new mic I bought. I'm gonna attach it right there. Honestly, I got this mic because uh, Sam Sulek, I think says, I think that's how you say his last name, right? I don't know. Uh, but he was uh, making videos and I would see him have something like this and I looked into it. I tried looking at it, you know, like really close and I'm like, it looks like this. I think this is the one that he does have. Uh, he might have a better version than this one because this one's like the, I think this is like the, the the first version of it. I think there's like two or three other versions of it. Um, but I got the cheapest one because I didn't feel like I needed the other ones. And I did have the other mic before where it was like the small one. I didn't really use it though. Um, and it was okay too. That one was well, but I wanted to just invest in something decent. So maybe I will take it more seriously, you know. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to just test this out real quick um, and see if how the audio sounds right now. And if it sounds good to you guys, I'm perfect. Uh, I'm going to just end the video and then and I'll probably, uh, you'll see the next clip. But I just want to just hear the video real quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does sound good. I feel like it doesn't sound like this when I'm like having it right in front of my, like, my mouth where you can hear the audio this clearly. Uh, but even though it's still here, like it's still not bad because you still picks up the audio and I'm, I still have to test it in the gym when I'm like squatting, benching, deadlifting. I just want to see how it holds on. Uh, but not only that, I do feel like I want to clip it somewhere else. I just don't have, oh, I thought I had something there. No, I don't. Uh, cause like, I think Sam puts it on his hat. So it's just like the, the microphone is just kind of angled toward him. Uh, but I don't really wear hats. I wear beanies, but I don't know if it would feel comfortable on a beanie. And I don't know if I want to wear a beanie every time I train, which Sam is wearing a hat every time he trains. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it's gonna be my first video making a making a video with this mic. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully it's okay. But here I am at the gym. I actually got to go into the gym pretty soon because I come to the one in 24 hour fitness, the one in Hollywood. This one's like a super sport one. They have like their own structure, parking structure, whatever. Uh, but they do charge for it, which sucks. Um, if you stay here for two hours, you can get validated and it's like three bucks. But uh, if you stay longer than two hours and it can be like up to like 20 bucks for parking, which sucks, you know, because no offense. Like I, I, I go to gym and two hours is good. It's a good amount. But, you know, like sometimes I'd be in there for like three to four hours. And yeah, so like I think the highest I paid for parking here was like nine bucks, I think. Yeah, but it should, could have been three bucks if I just left in two hour mark. But it's, I, don't, I don't know how long I stayed that day, but Anyways, uh, I always tend to smoke lately when I train, right before I train. It does help me. It doesn't have to help you. It doesn't help everyone. But personally, I do enjoy it. So I am going to smoke this J. Uh, I don't normally smoke the whole thing. I usually just smoke enough to like feel like I'm getting kind of high. I uh, just feel a little bit. It helps me get focused. It feels good. I feel I feel good. You know, I feel, I feel ready. Uh, I just want to go into the gym and just stay locked in, put my earphones on, and I just focus on myself at the end of the day. So... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just spark this J, take a couple hits, then I'm gonna see you in the gym. I've always wondered if someone's gonna like come up to me too, like security, because I'd be smoking in the parking lot sometimes. But it's the reason why I like park somewhere where it's like no one's around me. All the cars are, like way back there, but. You never know, right? Someone can just come up to me and be like, hey, you can't smoke here. I also think it's my favorite part. Like my favorite moment is when I go into the gym and I smell like weed and I know I smell like weed. The people just look at me and they just laugh or smile. They just take a double dip, double take, you know? It's like, it's kind of funny. That's all I do. Feel good. Feel the hit. Burns a little bit. It's good. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go to the gym. All right. Let's give this a shot. I'm going to try to do 405. I don't know if the equipment is going to be decent because I don't really like this gym that much for their equipment, but I'm going to see how it feels either way. I think I can do five regardless because I've been hitting fives consistently, but... I think my worry is like what I'm gonna do after that. 
Because I did want to try 455, but I don't know if I'm going to touch it, so I'm going to see. Depends on this set, but if it moves decent, we'll go for it. All right, all right, all right, all right. And also my belt's kind of like at that point where it's like halfway, got to get tighter and halfway it's like too loose. So it's not perfect. Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> but, Yeah, I was going to stop at five, but I say didn't feel that good, so I was, I'm just going to try to do two sets of eight instead of 455. We'll see how it goes. I don't, I'm actually even questioning if I'll even hit another eight. That was kind of tiring. Maybe I'll hit like seven, but I'm going to try to shoot for eight. All right, second set, last set, hopefully. Hopefully we hit eight. I don't know though. We're definitely gonna try though. I know I'm gonna fail a rep just cause like I, I would stop before I fail a rep. But if I attempt the eighth, it might be a fight. We'll see, we'll see. Might stop by sub or get six.
This is where I like sit for like 30 minutes, you know? Be like a true power lifter. Oh fuck. God damn, I feel like I almost died. Low key, high key, every key. Hold my phone. Oh, I'll get it. Oh fuck. Hey, that's a good thing it's actually got eight. And honestly, I thought I could have got nine, which probably doubted myself from going up then. <laughs> it's all good. I haven't done volume with 405 in a minute, so I can take that as a win for today. Small ways to implement, small progression. Doesn't always have to be increasing the weight. Can be another set. Whew. All right, I'm gonna give myself a minute. Think of what I do next. Like I have a program I'm running, but I didn't like fully write it down yet. So it's like, I know it, it's in my head. Like I know what, what program I'm doing. I just haven't written it down. So I have to think about it and find it in the archives in my brain. I'm gonna do stiff legs. Yeah. Do some stiff legs. I gotta do a Bulgarian. I gotta do uh ass to grass. I think it's called split squat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called split squat. Bulgarians, I'll do some calves. And then might be it. And I'll just do some cardio. I've been doing 20 minute cardios, but I think I'm gonna up it to like 30 minutes, honestly. I feel like 30 or 20 minutes, not enough. And I feel like uh, I've been watching Sam. Sam so I think a lot of things that I'm doing right now is inspired by Sam Sol. <laughs> but uh, the cardio is also, uh, I think I'm gonna up it to 30 minutes. I also have a friend that it's like super shredded and he stays like that. And he looks fucking good, you know? So I asked him, I was like, no, he like posted, he ran like 12, 11 miles today. And I was like, 11 miles in, in a day? Like, what? At once? Like, that's crazy, you know? So I asked him how much cardio he did a week. And he said he does 30 miles, 30 miles a, a week, about 30 miles. I was that's crazy. I feel like I do like seven, not even seven a week. I'm like rounding up big time. I probably do like three to five, three to five. But I don't even walk or do treadmill. I do like the elliptical. So I don't really know how to measure distance with that. Whew. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just cut this video at just squats. Just wanted to show. Uh, I took like eight minutes in between the first set and second set. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna do accessories and cardio and that's pretty much it. I can incorporate more stuff into the video. I just wanted to start putting out content rather than like overdoing it at first. So hopefully uh, this video is good enough. Maybe I'll record some more just because I want to talk about like 
I'm trying to do with this video. Or I guess talk about more about my goals or if you guys ask, maybe I'll answer it in the next video or something. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, if I don't play anything after this video, then it'll just be that. <laughs> we'll see. All right, finished training. Have to leave soon, drive, because I think they uh, pay for my ticket, bro. It's 11 bucks, bro. Come on, man. I was in there for like a minute. Yeah, I feel like maybe I would I think I did pay 11 bucks last time too. It does kind of sound familiar, but if you look at my ticket, uh, it says 11 on there, right there, $11. But uh, yeah, I just had a funny interaction or a cool interaction, I should say. I was squatting four or five for two sets of eight today. Uh, there was this guy, uh, he looked like a kid, I guess, uh, like squatting next to me. And he was only doing like one plate uh, for like sets. But uh, yeah, I saw him in the elevator on the way down to my car's parking lot. Uh, and he was like, hey, bro, like, you should, like, uh, teach me how to squat. And I was like, bro, I got you. Like, I'm a powerlifting coach, so if I see you again, like, you know, let's, we can talk about it, you know. So it's like, uh, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally down, so let's do it. And I was like, oh, yeah, hey, have a going, bro, like, because, like, we are just leaving and passing by. Uh, I just didn't want to stay in here that much longer and chat because obviously I have to leave because if I stay longer, I have to pay more. <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah, I should probably ask him for his Instagram or something because that's usually how I get clients is like when I find people that want to be coached I usually just get their Instagram and then we talk about it on DMs, but uh, I was like probably not thinking too far like too far ahead like in that way But next time I'm gonna try to keep that in mind for myself because that's what I tend to do I just haven't coached people in a minute and I do want to pick up more clients again. So uh, Yeah, I'm gonna try to stay consistent try to fish clients again not fish, but, you know, I generally want to help people. I want to see people succeed, you know. I want to hit them, see them hit PRs and shit. It's not like I just want them to just, you know, just pay me and, like, do nothing or not progress, you know. So, I want it to be a win-win situation. So, uh, anyways, yeah, I did some squats. I didn't do much. I did some cardio. I did 30 minutes. Uh, I've been doing 30 minutes lately just because, like, I just want to increase my cardio. And I want to increase my cardio because I'm, honestly, I'm fat, bro. Like, I'm, I'm pretty fat, dog. Like... I do not look good, as good as I used to. Like, I would be looking at some of my videos that I would be, like, recording of myself when I was, like, weighing, like, around 190. Like, right now, I'm 214. Uh, I did come down from 220, but uh, 214 seems to be my average weighing for the past, like, four, three, four days. Uh, I do need to, like, start doing something different or, like, decreasing calories. So that's the reason why I kind of increased my cardio, too, because I'm like, maybe I should just increase my cardio and it'll be, like, fine, you know? Maybe I'll start seeing some differences, but... Oh, well, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going home. Oh, not going home. I'm probably going to do some Uber Eats right now. I might actually try to record some content for Uber Eats. I think that'd be pretty dope. Honestly, I just kind of transitioned from working physically at places to, like, Uber Eats because, honestly, I really want to give this training, like, a full go. Like, I want to be able to document the journey of me giving everything, like, every power that I can control, you know, every situation I can control to make myself, you know, like be like progress in power so you know like just like progressing in power thing. i want to like hit prs bro like i want to like max out on squat bench and deadlift. i want to hit prs this year i want to compete this year i want to like get lean i want to achieve a new pound for pound you know like for myself like weighing less and being stronger type shit like i want to accomplish that you know this year's kind of like my uh my goal so But, uh, yeah, so I want to accomplish a lot with powerlifting, so that's the reason why I transitioned from, like, a physical job, because right now, like, I, I have Farbar, like, I can work there, I, I, they stopped scheduling me, and I'm totally cool with that, I did tell them I don't want to work weekdays right now, because I have things going on, and I do want to focus more on, like, powerlifting, I just don't want to be in an area of, like, something that can, like, mess me up, which is essentially alcohol, you know, so I used to be drinking way too much when I was around Farbar and stuff, so now I'm just, like, uh, doing my own thing and uh, like I just want to do Uber Eats and I want to start coaching again because that way I can you know make my own income from that way rather than like you know having to go somewhere and like putting myself in a potential uh, you know uh, scene of like me just not being good for powerlifting you know to progress and I need to eat good sleep good you know be stress free like I I know so much on how to progress so let me try to you know try to hit all those points and see like if I can. I can progress, you know, so that's essentially the goal. We'll see what happens at that. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go home or I'm going to do some Uber Eats and then we'll see what happens after that. Uh, I'm just going to drive around, do a little bit of that, and then I'm going to go home and eat. 
Maybe I'll show you guys what I'm gonna eat and then just cut the video there. But I'm gonna try to make these like every session kind of thing. So every workout I have, like, again, like I feel like I'm inspired by Sam Solik's like YouTube channel, how he just like records himself going to the gym, records at the gym, and then records himself going home. And that's basically his YouTube videos. And they do pretty well. So I'm gonna try to like at least put out that kind of consistency first. And then eventually maybe I can use like these clips to like make edits and do stuff like that. So. We'll see. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see uh, tomorrow. I'm going to do bench. So I'm going to go to EOS. So we'll see how that goes and how that plays out.